Hi, this is example number one of chapter 16, section 16.6. .6. And we are learning here how to use the concept of instant center of rotation. So you have one uh, problem here that has two rods, rod AB and rod BC, and they are connected by one pin at B. And we have one support that is connected at a pin at A. And then we have a pin that is connected to a block in C. Block C is moving in this instant at a velocity of 3 meters per second. And for that instance, the, we are asked to find the angular velocity. So if we can imagine this is moving in this direction, I'm going to write that velocity VC is in this direction and velocity AB is in this direction. So we want to find those two angular velocities by uh, knowing the, the velocity of C. So what is the concept of uh, instant center of rotation? There is different ways to find it. One of them is connecting the two perpendiculars to the velocities of one rigid body. For example, we have rigid body BC, right? So we have the rigid body BC right here. And we know that the velocity of C is in this direction. And we also know, as you see, that since this is a fixed pin, the velocity of B has to be perpendicular to the rod AB. And that perpendicular is in the same direction. So the velocity of C has to be Velocity of B, is un the value is unknown. We know this one. We don't know the velocity of B, but we know that it's perpendicular to the other bar, to the bar AB. So what is, where is the uh, center of rotation located? It's perpendicular to that and perpendicular to that. So if we connect those two lines, here we find the instant center of rotation. Since we know this dimension, which is 0 0.4, and we know this angle, which is 45, and that angle then is 45, 2. And so we can actually see that we can use those, that, that information to find those distance. So this distance, I will call it distance from C to the instance uh, uh, center of rotation. And this will be from B. So this will be, and this is point C, right? So this distance will be C to the instant center of rotation. So if we do our trigonometry, we see that, for example, tangent of 45, which you know, which you know that is 1, it will be R B I C over 0 0.4. From here, we can see that that distance here is 0 0.4 times 1, so it's just 0 0.4 meters. And then we can do, for example, cosine, right? Cosine of 45, which you already know the value of 2, RCIC times cosine will be 0 0.4. So we here know that RCIC will be 0 0.4 divided by cosine of 45. Uh, cosine of 45 is square root of 2 over 2. So we'll multiply that, and we get that it, this is a, has a value of 0 0.566 meters. So we just found this value and this value. Having those values is very useful, because now we know that uh, from this instant center of rotation to any point, my velocity will be velocity of C, for example, will be that distance times uh, angular velocity of that bar. So since we know the velocity and we just calculated the, the distance from the instant center of rotation, we can solve for BC. So BC will be the velocity over that distance so the angular velocity of BC gives me a value of 5.3 radians over second. And that's the first result that we were asked to find. The other 
value that we were asked to find is the angular velocity of IAB. So what I'm going to do, I will find the velocity of B using now my distance from the instant center of rotation to B. And it's the same bar. So I have here that the velocity of B is equals to 0 0.4 times 5.3. So and the velocity of B is 2.12 meters per second. So that's my second result. Now, having, having the velocity of B, I will analyze the bar, the rod, a, B, and from the road A, B, I know, I know that the velocity of B is equal to that distance here, right, 0 0.4 times velocity A, B, right? For bar A, B, A is the instant uh, center of rotation. So we know the velocity of B, so we can calculate the angular velocity of AB will be the velocity of B over 0 0.4, which is 2.12, right, divided by 0 0.4. And that gives me that the velocity of AB is equal to 5.3 again. So actually those two bars have exactly the same angular velocity but in opposite direction. So this is the magnitude. If I want to put it as a vector, we have to, so as a vector, we have to write that the velocity BC is 5.3 positive radian in K radians per second, and the velocity of AB is negative 5.3 let me put a 5 here, 5.3 k radians per second. So those are as vectors. Okay, so if you want to take a look of that solution also in the PowerPoint presentation, here it is.